Hi everybody. I'm gonna be doing a quick review of uh, this Blue Dio T2 Turbine wireless headphones. Um, I got these headphones maybe a year and a half ago and you might ask why am I doing a review now and it's because they are so good and so worth it. Um, I gotta say they only cost me $30 on that time when I bought them. I don't know how much they are right now. There's probably a newer uh, model for them, but I'm pretty sure it can be uh, any more expensive. So I'm gonna put a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. The reason why these headphones are so good is because the sound quality is pretty good. As you can see, uh, the build is pretty nice. Doesn't feel that cheap. It's pretty comfortable here. It's very nice, it comes in different colors. I got the white one. There's a red one, blue, black, I believe. And um, yeah, the sound quality is great. Um, the battery is amazing as well. Um, I don't remember the last time I charged it. I don't really use them for hours and hours a day, but I'll use them maybe an hour, hour and a half uh, every couple of days, like I said, I don't use them as many other people do, but like I said, I don't remember when was the last time I charged them. So it takes a while. Um, another thing, yeah, these are completely wireless. It's very easy to set up. All you do is you just power it on. There's three buttons here, the power, you got your volume buttons there and, uh, it's very easy. You just power it on and it's going to ask you to search for your, your device and then you go on your phone, you find the, the Blue Dio headphones and you pair it and that's it. It'll pair automatically. And like I said, it's very, very, very nice headphones. This is a box that it came with. I have a cable right here. That's uh, if you want to use an aux cable. Uh, 3.5 millimeter cable in your phone if you want to use it wired I don't use that I just use it wireless but you have the option there um, yeah another thing is uh, like I said again it's a uh, very good quality it has some break in all this time now you might think for $30 this is uh, you know, it's gonna be crappy quality. Uh, it's actually, you know, feels really nice. As long as you don't throw them or let them fall on the floor from a, uh, you know, uh, high surface, they should be fine. Yeah, so basically I don't really think, I don't see myself spending two, $300 for um, headphones, no, there's uh, the Sony's, uh, Bose, or uh, uh, Beats, they, they can cost you two, three hundred dollars for a nice set. Obviously, the sound is amazing on those headphones, but you know what? If you're looking for something that's gonna cost you, like I said, thirty dollars, thirty dollars, and give you amazing sound quality and and no, like I said, they're very, very comfortable in your ears. Look at how nice this feels here. The pads are very nice. And like I said, for the price, this is a great buy. And that's why I felt like I wanted to recommend it for you people. I will uh, try to find it on Amazon so you guys can check it out. Like I said, I don't know if the exact model will be there since it's been a year and a half but I'm pretty sure they have a newer model and it's probably gonna be the same great quality and the price is gonna be I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be much more expensive maybe ten dollars but I will be doing that research for you guys and uh, putting it on the description so let me know if you guys will get it any questions if you guys do um, 
So yeah, thank you guys.